Borneo. The third largest island on our planet is home to the oldest forests and richest biodiversity worldwide. Among them is a unique treasure, the peat swamp forest. For a long time neglected, we know today that these forests are one of the largest terrestrial carbon reservoirs. But this storage is no longer safe. When peatlands are drained, the stored carbon is released into the atmosphere through dehydration and wildfire, contributing to climate warming. In Indonesia, deforestation is responsible for nearly 90% of released greenhouse gases and that makes it the number four emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. With the Mega Rice Project in central Borneo, the Indonesian government planned to meet the increasing rice demand of the growing population. One million hectares of peat swamp forest were cleared for rice fields. For irrigation, a network of canals with more than 4,000 kilometers was dug into the peat. But because of mistakes in planning and construction, the canals did not water the fields, they drained the peat swamp. The landscape turned into dry wasteland, which catches fire easily in the dry season. Wildfires release millions of tons of greenhouse gases heating up the global climate. The bordering Sebengau National Park looks like a lush green ecosystem, but it's in danger. Across the 580,000 hectares of the park exists an equally extensive network of canals built in the past to transport logs out of the forest. In 1998, logging ended, but the canals were never closed and are now still draining the water out of the forest. The peat swamp forests of the Sebengau National Park are unique habitats. Not only is the largest single wild population of orangutans found here, the diverse forests are also home to the endangered clouded leopard and the endemic proboscis monkey. But with their habitats, the animals are threatened. Within the last 50 years, the orangutan population shrank by half, mainly through forest fires caused by dried out swamp. Because only wet peat swamps can prevent fires and save the remaining forests, the WWF started a project to stop the drainage. Since 2004, the WWF has been working with local communities on the restoration and protection of the Sebengau National Park. Local people are building dams to close the canals and lift the groundwater to previous levels. Some canals are closed completely, while others are still in use. For their daily food and needs, people highly depend on natural products from the forests and on fish from the rivers. To keep these canals shippable, dams are constructed with channels for the local canoes. The WWF negotiates rights and responsibilities with the local communities and besides the employment for dam construction and maintenance, develops economic alternatives like sustainable forest use so that fewer people depend on illegal logging. Sebengau is one of the world's first large-scale restoration projects of tropical wetlands. Within three years, the WWF aims to raise the groundwater level on an area of 50,000 hectares with the sponsorship of Deutsche Post. For the cleared areas, a reforestation project is scheduled to start in 2010 and the plan is to finally replant an area of 1,000 hectares. Thanks to the restoration of Sebengau, Two billion tons of carbon are bound in the peat swamp forest. This is equivalent to 291 Cheops pyramids. The protection of the peat swamp forests on Borneo is essential for the orangutans, for the people living in the region and for the balance of our global climate. <laughs>